Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of What If Deku Met the Payday Gang. Now, I know we have been quiet for quite some time. And that is mainly because school has started up again and a lot of us have jobs to get back to. So do be patient when it comes to videos. Thank you. With that out of the way, let's get right to it. A few months after arriving to their new world, the Payday Gang get ready for a simple store robbery. Bane. Remember, after the demilitarization, weapons and gear are scarce, so spare as much as you can. Dallas responds with, Of course. By the way, how's Deck? Deck was the name of a doppelganger Payday Gang. The Payday Gang of this universe, you could say. The members wore masks, representing the suits in a deck of cards, with Diamond as the leader, Clubs as the weapon specialist, Spade, the marksman, and Hart, who is a girl, the medic. There was, of course, an outside man like Bane, called Ace. Bane decides to respond with, They did another big heist on some big name bank. Trying to learn Japanese is a pain in the ass. Wolf retorts with, tell me about it. However, Hoxton, interested in a separate group, what about the Yakuza? Bane found nothing. Suddenly, the van comes to a stop at the target. A simple club. Okay guys, scope out the place first. When ready, put those masks on. Before you guys go, open the bag. Got some new gear for you, Bane said, knowing something's gonna go down. Dallas opens the bag, finding their signature masks. But inside the masks are some odd devices. Dallas responding to the uh, odd device. What are these? Prototype filters. We always had an issue with the cops using gas on us, so I made you those. Wolf, entering the conversation. That's handy. Change just wanting to get the money. Everyone good? Dallas, ready to go. Time for a payday. And time skip because I'm lazy. The gang got the entire store as hostages, set up the drills on the safe, and stole all the jewelry. Well, any jewelry that was already there. Bane. 30 seconds till police arrive. That was fast. Retorting Hoxton. Then midnight appears. Okay. This is out of character, guys. Sorry, some of these stuff I had Blaze help me with, and uh, who is uh, yeah, it's midnight, so you can tell where this is going. Back to the story. Hey there, boys. Mind if I play with your guns? The Petty Gang is silent. Bane breaking the silence. I feel unreasonably uncomfortable. Dallas just wanting to get out of the situation because he's too goddamn old for this. Yeah, how about no? Or do you want to lose a hostage? Midnight, not sensing danger because, you know, a hostage is about to lose his life. Now that's not fair. You'd at least invite me to a drink first. She creates a cut in her clothes. 
Wolf, realizing what is about to happen, well, looks like Bane's filters were a good call. Chains, interjecting. In a world of superpowers, it makes sense. Hoxton informing the squad. Drill's done. Dallas, just wanting to get out of there really goddamn bad because midnight's here. Alright, while well, she can't see because of her quirk, let's grab the cash and go. Wolf, wanting to get out of there just as fast as Dallas, on it. The payday gang grabs everything in the safes and book it towards the van. That was easy for our first heist. Suddenly, a whip comes out of the smoke and latches onto his an ankle. I'm not letting you go so easily. We still have the night together. Just had to say it, huh? Said Chains. Cut the damn thing, we gotta go. Cops are nearly here. Dallas retorts. Hoxton uses a knife to cut the whip as the gang make a dash for the van once again. Damn, that crazy bitch is scary. A loud thump can be heard on top of the van. Now that's not very nice. Chains, again restating his previous statements. Just had to say it, huh? The green-haired boy, asking out loud, Who are those guys? I've never seen them before. As Izuku says this, he notices the guns and decides to hide. Oh no, oh no, who are they? Why do they have guns? I gotta get out of here. The gang takes off their masks when Wolf calls out the kid. Hey kid, what you doing? Wolf, being menacing as always, scares the crap out of the kid. And the gang, as well, notices the kid, because you know, plot. Hoxton realizing what situation they're in. Crap, just a kid, but he's seen us. Dallas, trying to be kind. Yo, kid, sorry we scared you. We're just filming a movie nearby. The gang looks at each other and nods in agreement as they leave their equipment in the van. Chains, although trying to act less intimidating, wasn't really helping. Yeah, don't mind us. By the way, what a kid like you doing so late, all alone? Yeah, I'm going home now. Dallas immediately notices the burns and scars on the kid. Hey kid, you alright? You got some... scars on you. Get them at home? Y yeah, no, it's not at home. The problem, it, it's school. Got it. If you want, we could give you a ride at your place. Yeah, it's totally not like a van full of dudes is going to help the kid. Chains not wanting the kid to find out what's in the van. Hey, I doubt this kid would let us. And besides, what about the cash in the van? Dallas talking to Chains. It's alright, as long as the kid doesn't look inside the bags. Back to Izuku. What do you say, kid? Is that really okay? I mean, my place is really far. That's fine, kiddo. Then okay. The gang hop into the van with Izuku in tow. How Izuku is oblivious to this, I don't know. You guys said you're filming a movie. What, what is it about? You just have to wait and see, kid. It'll be on the news. Cool. Um, what's your name? I'm Izuku. Name's Dallas. That's Chains, that one's Hoxton, and the one's driving is Wolf. Dallas, Chains, Wolf, and Hoxton. By the way, are you foreigners? Well, cat's out of the bag. Dallas trying to avoid suspicion. Yeah, our Japanese, as, as you can tell, Pretty bad. Oh, uh, um, do you guys have quirks? The gang simultaneously respond with, nope. Wait, so you're quirkless? 
and acting in movies. That's so cool. Deku gets all starry-eyed. Dallas chuckles at the statement. You know what you want to be, kid? Zuku. Still having his dreams intact. Yeah, a h hero like All Might. Hoxton flinches at the statement. Dallas. Knowing that heroes have quirks. Do you have a quirk then? Izuku. N no, I don't. Ah, don't worry. I don't think a hero should need a quirk anyways. But if you need, we can show you a thing or two about hero work, quote unquote. Well, Dallas, you are quite sneaky, ain't you? R really? Izuku's eyes start to shine as they look at Dallas. Sure, kid, if you're free, come to this place. The van stops, and Wolf signals to Izuku, We're here. Th thank you, and Dallas, sir, are you free this weekend? Sure, kid. Th thank you so much. Izuku starts to cry. They're happy tears, calm down, happy tears. Th thank you so much. Dallas ruffles the kid's hair. It's okay. Follow your dreams, no matter what. All right, kid? Izuku stops crying. Okay, well, bye, Dallas. Izuku waves goodbye, and the van rolls into the night. Well, that was heartwarming, but is this all really okay, said Chains. Yeah, he hopped into the van with us, didn't he? And besides, it'll be good to get info out of while we're here. Whatever, man. Meanwhile, at the crime scene... A small rat-like person walks up. So, you're saying a group of four grown men with clown masks? Midnight. Yeah, and whoever they were, they're good. The rat responds with, It would seem that the owner confessed to some ill doings since they were funding a small-time gang. All Might then walks in. Hey Nezu, what I miss? Just a group of robbers with clown masks. All Might is silent for a second. So Deck? Nope, completely different group. A detective walks up to them. You heroes leave the investigation to us. Of course. Then shall we return to you, eh, All Might? I know, I know. Well, folks, that's the end of this chapter. Or episode whichever you prefer to call. Hope you enjoyed. With that, I will see you all next time. Stay safe, stay clean, stay healthy. See ya!